Hey, Walter. What are you doing? Oh, really? Well, I can help you out with that. Right here. I got Cupid Zero right here. What's up legends? I'm Living Legend Roads here and welcome back to another range day. Today we got this little tiny baby cast iron anvil. It's a nine pounder. It's got some good edges on her and we're gonna see what can go through it. We got 22 all the way up to 300 again. So let's get to it. I'm shooting the sable slugs after the 300 this time because I'm pretty confident it's gonna crack it in half. So let's get to it. All right guys, first off, we got some straight federal 22 and we're shooting out of this nice savage 22. I think I hit it. I definitely hit it. All right, guys. Looks like we hit one, two. Took a second shot to be sure there. Literally no damage. No damage at all. So. All right, guys. Next. Like always, we've got 9 mil. Shooting out of my Hellcat Pro. Let's see if I can hit it here. Definitely hit it. I want to take one more to be sure. This is going to be kind of scary. This time. So guys, looks like we hit that face there, smacked it, left a dent. Actually, look at this spalding on the ground right here, or where that round just smacked and cut in. I think we actually hit under it and caused it to fall, but, and then we hit it on the front, but that's all right. I wanted to test that front out anyway, too. So, all right, let's get the 40 on her. All right, guys, next we got some Federal 165 grain, I believe. 40 Smith & Wesson, shooting out of this XD40. Oh, I hit her right here on the horn. I'm going to back up. I'm going to take one more shot. All right, guys, so we hit both times right here on the horn. Knock this off. We actually got a little bit left over, and we smacked right here. And you can see that cast iron there, right there. Knocked that foot off there. Being a little bit inaccurate with the pistols right now. But that's all right. All righty, guys. Now we're going to do 45 ACP. We got 230 grain Federals. Shooting out of this Rock Island Armory, 1911. All right, guys. Finally hit it with the 45 there. Smacked it right there. Right on the edge there. Pancaked that round. Actually, it's right here. That's pretty cool. All right. Let's keep going. All right, guys. Next, we're going right into the rifle rounds with a 65 grain green tip, 5.56. Five, like I said, we're skipping the Sabo slugs and doing it at the end. Nailed it. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. That is awesome. That five, five, six, I can see it. It's in there. 
can't really see it on the video, but wow. Yep, I uh, centered that one. All right. I'm going to see if I can bump fire this AR. Oh, one left. Two left. All right, guys, next we got some 147 grain, 300 blackout. Okay. Missed it. Got it. All right, guys, we actually hit right here, which is really interesting. Because at 300 blackout, it really shows you the difference between the 5.56 and the 300. Because that 5.56 just punched straight through in there because it's moving super fast. With that 300 blackout, she just dumped all the power right there. All right, let's keep getting bigger. All right, guys, next we got the 243. Got 100 grain soft points in them. All right. That's such a small target. All right, guys. Ooh, we just punched it with a 243 there. Look at that crack. Holy man. Punched it right there. That's a nice, good smack. I think it was because it was a soft point. It didn't do more damage, but damn, it did quite a bit. All right. Let's keep going. Next, we got a 150 grain polymer tip Federals 308. Let's punch it. I punched it that time. Oh man. Oh man. Holy Christ. Damn. We hit almost on top of the 243. Holy shit. We are making a crater. Cracked here now. Cracked at the bottom there, there. Wow. That's insane. That's insane. All right. All right. Next. We got some 30 odd six. We got 180 grain soft points. Let's get it. Let's see if I can hit it with this from this far. It's kind of a really small target there. I fucking nailed it. I fucking nailed it. I think I zinged it though because it went off to the side. I actually hit it here and took that piece off i was just to the left right. i was just to the right i hope you got that good i took the fucking horn right off that is amazing that is actually amazing. It looks like we hit right here and we took that horn right off. That's amazing. Actually, so we hit here with the horn. The first shot, we nicked it right here, took that piece off. When we impacted this horn, it looks like we also split the piece off that we cracked with the 308. Holy man. Let's get the 300 on. All right, guys. Now we got 180 grain, 300 wind mag. Federal. I'm going to shoot off this really nice tripod that we got here. Am I loaded up? I am. Let's punch it.
right, guys. So we just got done shooting. 300 wind mag couldn't get through it. And it just like a catcher caught that shit and said, you ain't getting through me. Well, kind of sad. I thought the 300 was going to go blow it through or even the sample slugs, but it is what it is. All right. I'm living that drone tier. Like and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. And I will see you guys on the next range day. And just remember, nothing speaks louder than gunpowder. <laughs>